We've talked a lot about this weekend. New people, let this be exciting. Let this be an amazing experience for you. Returning members, it is our job as people who have had the chance to do this, to make this an incredible experience tomorrow for the people that get to do this for the first time. That is your legacy to the Longhorn Band. You've prepared so well. You've worked so hard in all of this. Keep that hard work going. Be amazing representatives of the University of Texas. Everything that we do, bring honor to the University of Texas. Yes? Yes, yes. 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 You are so fortunate to be students at this amazing institution. Don't take anything for granted. Game day starts early. Kickoff at 11 a.m. means that we are up at about 5 or 5.30, make our way over to the stadium with a police escort. Cotton Bowl Stadium is in the middle of the state of Texas fairgrounds. You have the State Fair of Texas going on immediately outside of the gates, so that gives it truly a carnival atmosphere. Marching into the stadium, half the people will be like, oh yes, Texas, like we love you so much, LHB, and then there will just be a bunch of Sooners who are like, you guys are horrible, like what are you doing? We're in the fairgrounds and it's got that atmosphere about it, but we represent the university and it's important that we do that in a first class manner. So if they do encounter somebody that's um, giving them a hard time or wants to get a rise out of them a little bit. The way that we always respond to that is we just smile and say, hook them. There's a long ramp that goes down into one end of the stadium and that ramp also leads to the dressing rooms for the two teams and so we have a tradition of getting onto that ramp and stopping to play the fight song, Texas Fight in the Tunnel, so that our team can hear us playing and also the Oklahoma team hears us playing. It's a lot and it gets you really fired up. You feel the rivalry because you get really angry. The fans are usually uh, fairly aggressive to each other. But with the bands, I think there's, there's some camaraderie um, and just a sense of, of togetherness because we're, we're both in band. Between like the UT and OU bands, I would say that there's a lot more like civil nature going on there. Before the game starts, KSI and TBS from both chapters will come together and we'll sing both our hymns. When we sing before a game with TBS, they are just so welcoming because we're sisters, you know? Like, even though we come from different schools, we all share this bond with TBS. Because it is a neutral site rivalry, even numbers of tickets distributed between the two teams, there's this dividing line right on the 50-yard line where you've got one half of the stadium is decked out in red and the other half of the stadium decked out in burnt orange. And that really even division of fan base uh, gives that the kind of a feel that you're not going to get 
at a college stadium where there's a home field advantage. My favorite part is getting to run on the field for pregame. There's something about running in on the UT side and, and you're just surrounded by the fans just booing and yelling and it just kind of fuels you. Oh, it's actually beautiful because we actually start pregame on the Texas side or the opposing side and you see a bunch of boos, a bunch of insults, things like that. It's cool. But the second you pass the 50, everything just changes. Listening to the sound change from a bunch of support to a bunch of people that don't necessarily support us. All of a sudden we're out of our fan territory and going into their fan territory. And then you cross the 50 and it's suddenly just boo and as many like horns down as like you could ever see. People are just like, get out of here, like what are you doing? So this game, the environment's insane. I love it. Wall to Wall Band gets its name because at a couple of points during that show, the entire field is covered with band members. It's a special pregame show that we only use for that game, and there's an opportunity in that show for everybody who's a Longhorn to participate in that. There are words that go along with it, and it's well known what those words are and where it happens in the show. As you march across, you march into home territory and you just, you're met with screaming fans that are excited to see you. I think that's my favorite part. And then you come right back around, cross the 50 again, and you're like, oh, thank God I'm home again with people who like me. Hi everybody, coming to you from the historic Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. Welcome to the 113th edition of the Red River Showdown. As this afternoon, it's the number 19th ranked Texas Longhorns and the number seven Oklahoma Sooners. Today's game is, I think, the best rivalry in college football. It's unique because it's in a, it's, its own neutral site in Dallas instead of being at either Austin or Norman, and it's gone on forever and ever and ever. This is one of my favorite traditions. The Texas OU rivalry is like no other. The environment here is insane. It's one of the great rivalries in college football, Texas and Oklahoma. It's been going on for years and years and years and predates you know, even being in the same conference. These two states that are adjacent to one another coming together on this neutral site to play a football game. There are so few of these that are left that are played on neutral sites and it gives it a very special air that's nothing like any other college football experience.
for this game, it's a chance for both universities to really come together and really see who's the better side of the Red River. We have a lot of Texas people that do go to Oklahoma and vice versa. So it's really a chance to have like bragging rights and really prove themselves. I think one of the best parts about a rivalry is that it can go either way. Regardless of how either one of those teams is performing overall in a given season, it seems like those teams always get up for that game. We have some times where it looks like we're just going to crush the other team and sometimes it looks like Texas is going to crush us and it's totally up in the air. This is a game that we all look forward to every year just because you never know what's going to happen even if the teams are like drastically separated by rank, anyone can win. Everyone brings it to this game. I mean, if you're going to show up, this is the game to show up for. Murray back to pass, looking left, throws that way. He's got Hollywood Brown, Brown down the far sideline. He's going all the way, 77 yards. Hollywood Brown for the Sooner touchdown. Since this is my senior year, this is my last Texas game, and it's, it's a little, it's bittersweet. Uh, Sam Hellinger, number 11, in for the Texas touchdown. Since this is my senior year, it's a little bittersweet. This is my last Texas week, my last Texas with the, the band. Uh, the next time I'm here, I'm going to be in the stands. And, I mean, that makes me sad. I wish I, wish I could do this every year for the rest of forever. That's how much Oklahoma has come back here in the fourth quarter. And as you look into the stands, the fans wearing burnt orange seem very nervous. The staff is down. The kick is on its way. And that kick is through the poles. Cameron Dicker has put Texas back in front. 48-45 with nine seconds to go. The true freshman has given Texas back the lead. to claim the Red River 48-45, the final. Yeah. 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 Yeah.